here, right here. Oh, just wait. Sorry. I'm late. I... I ain't dead yet. It's also for healing. And celebration, you know? I'd like to sit at that table. Why? I'd like to sit at that table. I know, but they're still eating. It's no, I, I can see that. I don't know, I think... I think in like a year or so, you know, I think I'll be ready, but... I don't know, I really, I want to get married. I just, like, eventually, you know, I don't... I just don't want to right now. Plus, we're kind of on this, like, cruise control, you know? Which is normal. I mean, it happens to every couple. It happened to us. Where'd you tell me you were going? To visit you. <laughs> yeah, right. To visit my dad. I believe that. I invited him, actually. But it turns out he was really, really busy. <laughs> <laughs> you always were a terrific liar. That's not fair. I really do love him, you know. No, well, I do. He's the right guy for you. I mean, what do you want to do? Are you thinking family, bachelorhood? College, job. You don't have to worry about me. My world's my fucking oyster. Thanks for coming. I really want to see you. Glad you came. Say hi to Alan for me. I don't think so. Somewhere you gotta be? No, sure. How long's he been waiting? 17 minutes, sir. Send him in. Sir, Staff Sergeant Montgomery reports. At ease. How you getting on, Montgomery? It's going well, sir. I have an assignment for you, Montgomery. So happens that over the few months you have left on your enlistment, you will get your chance to render some of your most valuable service to your country. I am assigning you to a casualty notification team. Sir? Captain Stone will show you the ropes. He is the expert. But until he does, I just want to make myself very clear that although most of your time will remain occupied by your other duties, CNO is to be your absolute priority. This mission is not simply important. It is sacred. Sir, if I may, 
Go ahead. I've never received any grief counseling, let alone given it. I'm not a religious man, sir. We are just there for notification, not God, not heaven. Montgomery, this job is about character. Now, I have had soldiers go out on notification and break into a stutter. Men so nervous, they read from a script, or they get the name wrong, or the address. Too many tears. I need men of solid stature. Now, you are a model soldier. Hell, you're a goddamn hero. Casualty is a soldier who's been killed, wounded, missing, captured, beleaguered, or besieged. Of course, our job's mainly about killed. What you actually need to do is pretty simple. Read the guidebook, learn the script, stick to the script, fill in the blanks from the casualty report. Can you do that? Yes, sir. Can you look at me when I speak with you? Much appreciated. Never say stuff like lost or expired or passed away, things people misunderstand. I knew this guy who once told this old lady that her grandson was no longer with us. She thought he had defected to the enemy, started calling him a traitor. We need to be clear, we need to say killed or died. What we don't say is the deceased or the body. We call each casualty by name, we honor them. You with me? Yes, sir. And look at me, Sergeant. You do not speak with anybody other than the next of kin. No friend, no neighbor, no co-worker or mistress. Hours of operation are 0600 to 2200 hours. We don't want to wake anybody up in the middle of the night. Though if you ask me, hitting them with the news at the crack of dawn is not exactly a great way to start their day, breakfast-wise. What do we do if the next of kin isn't around? We leave. We don't wait. We don't lurk. We come back later. This is a zero defect mission, a pure hit and get operation. Is that it, sir? One more thing. You do not touch the NOK. Avoid physical contact with the next of kin, unless it's a medical emergency, like if they are having a heart attack or something. You are representing the Secretary of the Army, not Will Montgomery, so in case you feel like offering a hug or something, don't. It'll only get you in trouble. I'm not gonna be offering any hugs, sir. Is that it? No. These are the rules. It's not the job. The job is about... something else. You gotta do it before you can understand. You a head case? No, sir. I surely hope not. And that's it. You can go. Sergeant, one more thing. We make it our business to deliver the news within 24 hours of positive ID. The ideal has been four. We're racing Fox, CNN, Drudge Report, what have you. Not to mention any soldier with a cell phone or webcam. Whole point is we gotta be first. So if you're in bed or church or the ballet, this baby stays on. Yes, sir. Tried and true. Long battery life, too. Can't be beat. I know what you're thinking. Would you like to receive a free $500 Pack and Save gift card in the next five minutes? It's easy. Tap Claim Now below, complete our short five minute survey, and you could receive a free Pack and Save gift card delivered straight to your inbox within minutes. You can spend it both on their website and in any of their stores. But hurry, we only have 117 gift cards left. What are you waiting for? 
Tap claim now below and get your free $500 pack and save gift card today. What matters in your world? The next season of your favorite series? The next costume drama? Or catching up with the girls? The next 90 minutes? Or the final over? The next installment of Halo? The next drive of your life? Or maybe it's seeing your granddaughter? Connect to everything you love in your world with Spark Broadband. You're thinking shit. I'm a goddamn decorated war hero with three months left to serve, and they draft me into the Angels of Death Squadron. I get a beeper, canned speech, and a lunatic commanding officer to surf a fucking ocean of grief. Am I right? More or less, sir. Am I right? Problem. Attention to detail, Private! Read the fucking manual. You have 130 degree heat. You have sand blasting. Let's bake the hose right under the house. Break the suction. Every second you're on the side of the road increases your chances of getting shot. Your boy's shot, your boy's blown up. No Haji is gonna protect you. Plus, you're fucking up a $5 billion a week operation because you don't have a 25 cent cooling hose. So you think ahead. You get you have 10 in the back. You think ahead. You prepare. You think ahead. Yeah, well, should be in the next couple blocks. We should just ask someone. No. First of all, men don't ask for directions, much less soldiers. Soldiers on a notification definitely, positively, do not ask for freaking directions. No GPS, no map quest. We navigate. Second, you never want to park too close. They hear a car park, go to the window, see two soldiers getting out. It's just a minute of torture. No, I should warn you, some of them do have guns. Knocking is ominous, but ringing is jarring. Or worse, sometimes you get one of those god-awful chirping doorbells, some sing-songy shit throws you right off your game. Yankee Doodle went to town riding on a pony, and sorry your husband is dead, doesn't flow, so I knock. I don't really like to say good morning or good afternoon either. There ain't nothing good about it. I used to introduce myself, that's standard, but now I think it's rude. It ain't about me. Lose the shades. We're looking for Mrs. Tina Burrell. Is she in? Is Levi in trouble again? I'm his girlfriend. We need to speak with Mrs. Burrell. Okay, come in. Come in. Please, sit down. 
I just made some tea. Do you want some? Uh, Ma'am, could you please get Mrs. Burrell? Yeah, she's just, she's down the block. She just called. She'll be back in a minute. Seconds, we're gone. That's it. Well, I'm Monica. I'm Leroy's girlfriend. And um, this is Baby. He's a boy. But he don't know that yet, so don't tell him, because I ain't calling him Junior. What did he do? I'm sorry, ma'am. Our orders are to speak with Mrs. Burrell. Well, I am, too. I mean, I was going to be. We were supposed to get married, but then my father got laid off, and... Look, I know Leroy's always saying the wrong thing, but he's a good man. Please, just tell me. We'll be back. <clears throat> Sir? Tell me. I didn't talk to her. I talked to her. Oh, no, please, God, no. Oh, my God. What's going on? No, please. Right, bad news, Mrs. Burrell. Secretary oh, of the Army has asked me to express his deepest regret that your son, Private First Class, Leroy Burrell. No, no, no. You got to go. You got to go. I'm very my... sorry, Mrs. Burrell. No. Listen. No. <laughs> That's my baby. We can't do this, right? Now look, Your Monica. Oh my God, what house is this? We gotta. Here's the assistant. No! Don't you say that about my baby. Don't you say it about my baby. I'm very sorry for your loss, no. Mom. Casualty no. assistance officer will contact you shortly. Oh, 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 We left him with the next door neighbor. It, hard, very hard. Okay. Yep. Yep. All right. Thanks. Good luck. CAO is on the way. There's no such thing as a satisfied customer. Double whiskey, please. Hot water and lemon. And a glass of ice. Thank you. Thank you. I'm in AA, if you're asking. Been sober three years. Mind you, I never drank anything stronger than pop. Of course, my pop would drink just about anything. Tell them to get ready when their kids deploy, but they never really listen, do they? Soldiers go to war, and everyone waves flags and applauds, look at charts, study strategies, have informed opinions. And then bullets fly and soldiers die, and it's such a shock. Fuck that. What'd they think it was gonna be like, fear factor? Where'd you see action? Desert Storm, Desert Shield. Never got a crack at enduring freedom or Iraqi freedom, much to my chagrin. Wasn't much of a war, but I got my baptism too. You weren't the only one getting shot at. So they say you saved your buddies. I think, I think they ought to show every goddamn funeral on TV live. Have the president come around from time to time and eulogize vice president. Get people used to it. I mean, we at war or not. Thank you. Okay. Let me know if you guys need anything else. Oh, you know it already, Emily.
I'd like to strap her on and wear her like a government issue gas mask. I got my sights on her, so I don't even go there. Right through that. I figure I could play the sensitivity card. Tell her what my day was like down in Death Valley. And again, sympathy backfires. She'll never leave. Trust me, I've been married three times, twice to the same woman. Now you know what the mission is. Yeah. Hey, if you're not cut out for it, you're not cut out for it. Do you have a girl? <laughs> you got to think about it. Kelly. Uh, we were together since we were little kids. And when I was deployed, every she year. wanted you to commit. You balked, and the minute you were gone, Jody plunked his ass down into the lazy boy. Probably dodged a bullet. The only reason to get married like that is the extra pay. Cut them in, then cut them loose. Of course, they can always get pregnant and bleed you dry. It's too easy. I just told her she was free. I didn't want you knocking on her door. Yeah, well, anyway, a lot of Shelleys out there. Kelly. You know, up to Vietnam, they used to send a telegram. If it was your wife, what would she want? Quick. Hey, you wait. Just making sure you're on your toes. Is this a joke, sir? No, no, I just, uh, you know, since I stopped drinking, I stay up nights, uh, especially after notifying someone. So, uh, you think you might stay on after your listener's up? I mean, hell, you. What's your email, anyway? Do you I am? I don't have a computer. Really? Well, how, how does that work? Hey, <laughs> you're funny. What? You call him my beeper. No, I'm not. Oh, shit. Get ready. I'll meet you on post. Need your coffee fix? Now you can enjoy our barista-made McCafe coffee for just $4. That's right, any size coffee for just $4. McCafe, simply good coffee. Kyle likes to look after the pennies. So when he chose his KiwiSaver scheme provider five years ago, it was because of its low fees. Kelly's with KiwiWealth. When she chose a scheme provider, she looked at fees and returns. Over the past five years, both their KiwiSaver growth funds earned returns and their balances grew. Kyle felt pretty good every time his low fees came out, but Kelly felt even better about her balance after fees. In fact, after those five years, she ended up with $633 more than Kyle did with his low fee provider. Nice. What Kelly knew and Kyle found out is that returns after fees 
Not just how low your fees are, a key to making a difference to your KiwiSaver balance. At Kiwi Wealth, we're all about responsible investment and getting the best returns we can for our members, even our newest ones, like Kyle. Find more information about Kiwi Wealth along with the Kiwi Wealth Kiwi Saver Scheme product disclosure statement at kiwiwealth.co.nz. Specialist Eric Martin killed in action. I got it, Cody. So I'm doing this one. It's okay, I'll do it. If I'm assigned to do something, I'm going to do it, sir. Specialist Eric Martin. Well, okay. It's a man this time. So? Men try harder to keep it together. They're also the ones that can hurt you. Doing this. Well then, reach down your pants, grab a double handful of balls, and do it right. You can come here and you can invest here. Excuse me? Mr. Martin? Oh, shit. Dale Martin? The Secretary of the Army has asked me to express his deep regret that your son, Specialist Eric, Eric Martin, was killed in action yesterday in southern Iraq by sniper fire. You will receive a more complete report as soon as possible, sir. What we can tell you right now is that his platoon came under sniper fire and it was an instant death. I'm so sorry. Look at that tree. I said, look at that fucking tree. It's the same age as my son. If I don't go, who's gonna go? in place of me. That's what he said. A casualty assistance officer will contact you in four Fucking hours. Fucking bastards. We'll notify you in... <laughs> we'll notify you in four hours. Is there a neighbor or a friend or a family <laughs> member that can come idiot. and help you in your trying time? Why aren't you there? Why aren't you dead? Huh? Why aren't you there now? I'm sorry. Fucking cowards. Let's go. I don't care if you're fucking sorry. We're done. So you're sorry to me. You gonna tell his mother? You gonna tell his mother? He's fucking 20 years old. Keep walking. Fucking coward! Keep walking! I don't fucking care! Sergeant! If he touches you again, I'll handle it. What? Fucking handle what? You fucking handle what? You fucking cowards! <laughs> Oh, 
guess one way or another, we're all God's children. It's all fortune cookies to me, sir.